What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you a Barbarian build for Diablo 4 inside the beta. If you guys are Barbarian mains, I think you're absolutely going to love this. This is a Hoda Hammer of the Ancients Hulk Smash build. Oh, I absolutely love this build. This is my favorite. This is awesome. So let's go over all the skills and then everything that you guys are going to need. So uh, and basically show you how to play this build. So we are starting off with Bash. We're only doing one rank of Bash because Bash is the thing that generates the most fury out of all of them. Generates four. Even at the highest, uh, that doesn't generate enough. Generates nine. Uh, and then, of course, Lunging Strike does not generate enough as well. So that's the reason we're going with Bash. Uh, not only because it generates the most <clears throat> fury, that we have a chance to actually stun our enemies, which is great for smashing down groups. So then you have Enhanced Bash, which uh, damages stunned enemies. And then you get Fortify, which is basically like an extra health gauge. And then you have Battle Bash. Damaging a stunned enemy with Bash generates three additional fury, or four fury if we're using a two-handed weapon, which in this case we are. So we generate 14 fury when we're smashing against a stunned enemy, which is crucial to this build. So then we, sl we slide down. We're going to do Hammer of the Ancients. I really want to change out... Uh, I want to make this five because it's just so strong. But anyway, Hammer of the Ancients slams your hammer down, dealing uh, a lot of damage in an AOE. Okay, and then we have Enhanced Hammer of the Ancients, where you gain three percent more fury for five seconds each uh, for each enemy damaged by Hammer of the Ancients, stacking up ten times, so we gain that back. Then we have Ferocious Hammer of the Ancients, deals one percent additional damage for each fury point of uh, each point of fury you had when using it. So what that means is, is while you're, if this gauge is full and then we crack down a hammer of the ancients, it's going to do even more damage. So we have that. Then I do have one, uh, one tick in endless fury. You generate 5% more fury when using a two handed weapon. So this is really good. Uh, cause we're going to be using two handed weapons pretty much the entire time. Then we come down and we have two shots guys shouts. I should say we got rallying cry. Enhanced Rallying Cry, which makes us unstoppable, and then Strategic Rallying Cry, which gives us uh, Fortify, which is really good. You could do this to generate more Fury if you really wanted to in Resource Regeneration, but this is really good for just having more, uh, what is it, the, uh, the Fortify, so the additional life. So I really like that, but sometimes I really like this because the additional Resource Regeneration is really good. And then, of course, we come down to Challenging Shot, which is probably the best part about this build or one of them. So you taunt nearby enemies and you gain the damage reduction for 10 seconds, which is really good. <clears throat> and then while channeling shout is active, you gain 20% max life. So we're just super tanky. And then we have tactical challenging shout. <clears throat> we gain three fury every time that we take damage. We are up close and personal, so we're going to be getting hit constantly. Uh, then we come down to here. We didn't take anything in any of these, but these are all just stuff from... Uh, uh, our items, but we have three out of three in booming voice. So our shouts uh, Duration lasts longer um, And then we're gonna come down. We have two ranks in pit fighter. So you gain six percent Increased damage to close enemies. Uh, this is really good We may take the two points off of this and just throw it into hammer of the ancients because the big damage on that is just so good But then we come down to death blow, which is one of the best skills that the barbarian has in my opinion so you attempted killing <clears throat> a killing strike, dealing a crap ton of damage. If you kill an enemy with this, the cooldown resets and you can use it again. So then we have death blow is 100% damage increase against bosses, which is good. And then if death blow damages at least one enemy, you're going to generate 20 fury, which is super good. Then we come down to the ultimate. Um, we have uh, Call of the Ancients, which is going to summon three... Uh, ancients to aid us in battle for three seconds so we're going to have enhanced or pr prime call of the ancients so while it's active you gain 10 percent attack speed and increased damage and then supreme call of the ancients where you generate fury you enemies are slowed if uh, by the whirlwind and then 30 percent chance to stun and as you guys know we do more damage to stunned enemies so something that happens with the barbarian if you guys do not know is you have a lot of weapons right you have all these three uh, weapons you got your dual wielding you got the big pole arm and then you have the bludgeoning weapon so when you look at your skills here you, you press s to bring up your skill list it'll show you like on bash you scroll down and it shows the weapon that you can use now with the weapon on mouse and key i don't know what it is on controller but you can press the middle mouse button 
which will rotate through the selection. You see how it goes auto select into bludgeoning. Now with bash, it can only be used by that, but let's look at slicing or a uh, rend. So you can have it on dust devils or I could swap it and make it dual wielding. And then right above it, you can see the damage that it'll do. So with dual wielding, rend will deal 51 damage and inflict 411 bleed over five seconds. Or if you use the slicing, you deal 86 and inflict even more bleed. So you can see how you can rotate through in this you can swap and change based on a lot of builds with the barbarian where when you're swapping through and using different weapons you get bonuses so that's how you do that i know that took me a while my chat had to help me out so that was really interesting so we're going to go through and do this but i'm going to show you why this is so crucial with the legendary build or excuse me the legendary power for this there's only one that you need and you need this one right here hammer of the ancient quakes outwards dealing 64 percent of its damage to everybody so we get a big aoe blast this is the main power you need for this build everything else is just like but it's not irrelevant but like you can kind of use whatever you want as far as other stuff but you have to have this power it makes it really good okay let's go do this dungeon i want to showcase the build for you guys so you can see how uh how strong it is let's go this build is insane. It's my favorite bar build so far to date inside Diablo 4. And I hope you guys really do enjoy it. But remember, you do have to have that power on there. So let's. Uh, so how this build works is you build up Fury with Bash. You pop your shouts. You can hit uh, your Death Blow to get some more Fury to kill. And then you, you only use the Call of the Ancients on Elites. Otherwise, you're Hulk smashing everything with Hammer of the Ancients. So let's go. Let's do this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're going to kind of rack up some mobs here. And just see. I'm not ready yet. I love how the good the good part of that. Oh, yeah. Hulk smash, baby. Oh. Uh. One elite. The build is very simple to use, guys. It's very, very fun. Um, I think it's just such a cool build. You just bash and you Hulk smash everything. It's so strong. But you really need that power. Because it's such an AoE blast build. Come here, Warden. Pop our two things. Uh. And you just Hulk smash. It's so good. Very easy build to use, guys. You don't have to have the power to actually play it and make it efficient, but the power really does help. And then on an elite, we pop our guys, and you just decimate. Death blow, get some fury back. The build is so, so good. And then when you have something like this artillery strike, you just do, I mean, it's just, it's just crazy strong. Just absolutely crazy. Just Hulk smash everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hulk smash. Hulk smash. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, Hulk smash. Oh, uh, Hulk smash. Hulk kill puny human. Oh. Uh. Oh my god, yes. The build is so good. It's so so good, guys. All right, before we go into there, we're going to we're going to kill these captain. We'll we'll kill it. We'll finish this dungeon. We'll finish this dungeon. Uh. Hulk smash. Hulk smash. Oh, that's one thing with this build, guys, is when you play it, you have to yell Hulk smash every time you smash. Hulk smash. That's how you get bonus damage. Oh! Let's go, dude. Let's go, man. That is the Hoda Hulk smash build for the Barbarian, guys. Get the Hammer of the Ancients power, and you will absolutely destroy everything, okay? The build is very, 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 very fun, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it as a Barbarian. If I end up playing Barb as a main, this is the build that I'm probably going to go with. But it's absolutely crazy, guys. So 
like the video if you enjoyed it make sure to comment down below what do you guys think and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace